Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. Boy, do I have a fantastic movie to talk about today. Uh, number 33 in 88 films Asia range is Human Lanterns. This is one of the best movies in their Shaw Brother Asia range. Fantastic. And the story is um, similar to something else that I've seen before. I really had strong visions, and, and bear with me here because it, it's not completely like it. Uh, Yojimbo, where you have a town with two warring factions, two rich men that are kind of vying for um, reputation to be the best in the village. Of course, there is an upcoming lantern competition where the most biggest, brash and prestigious lantern will be coveted by these two men. When one of the guys unveils a fantastic and exuberant lantern uh, along with a new concubine which just happens to be the other fellow's uh, ex-mistress, it kind of sets things in motion. So we are given, uh, one of our guys goes to find someone to make a lantern for him. Discovering um, a character whom he has had dealings with before who has a grudge with him, but he makes such lovely lanterns and ultimately asks him to make him something truly special, which he does. So this is our kind of character, our Sanjuro in this situation. <laughs> a serial killing madman who is going to put a lot of pressure onto these two rich socialites by making them both seem like murdering, kidnapping people and ultimately setting the town and them against each other. <laughs> While brutally kidnapping and killing people, skinning them alive. This is a movie that owes a lot to, I'd say, Mario Bava. A lot of the colour choices in here, uh, a lot of the, the way it's filmed, um, a lot of the action involving the colour is just phenomenally shot. It looks stunning. I love his underground lair, the way those neon lights, which have no source, just kind of bounce off the walls and create that spooky atmosphere. <laughs> The outfit, the, the sort of um, attacking outfit that he wears is really spooky and gruesome and the way he moves and jumps around the trees and around situations and the maniacal laugh that he puts into these situations is nothing short of disturbing. It adds a hell of a lot of atmosphere to this and I utterly love this movie. From the fight sequences to the overly um, confident rich guys who just are, are fighting their own little war between each other, uh, not realising they're being played against each other, to the horrific images of skin being peeled from people in gruesome fashion. This is a movie where the, all the characters are horrid. They're horrible people. Whether it be the socialites that are just trying to outdo each other for face, who are just simply want to be the most renowned in the town, whether it be the serial killer who does things more overtly. Um, it just is full of characters that are redeemable, that I don't think could be redeemed within the movie, which kind of leads me to the one down point I possibly have about this title, and that's the finale of it, when we finally have our killer cornered and he is taking out as many people as he can before he goes down. I was actually rooting for the serial killer. It became such a situation where he was so wronged, so maligned, uh, that even though he's done some atrocious things, I still wanted him to kind of win over these two horrific guys. It probably says a lot about me. 
but let's not use this uh, for evidence if anything happens in the future. Uh, Human Lanterns was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I loved the look and the style of this movie. I loved the horror and the strong horror that's embedded into a martial arts movie. It still has the martial arts. They're still exemplary. They're still stunning to see. Fantastic. Uh, But all the horror aspects of this one are really amplified and in such a fantastic way. Like I said, it feels like Bava has had a hand and influenced this one and I love it because of it. This, now I'll need to go back and look, but it may well be my favourite from the 88 film Shaw Brothers range thus far. If you don't have it, buy it. If it wasn't on your radar, get it on there. Tremendous movie. Highly highly recommended. I would love to know your thoughts. If you've picked up Human Lanterns, what you thought about it, let me know in the comment box whether you liked it as much as I did or didn't. Let's get another form of opinion going in there so people can have more than just my judgment on this movie. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. Hit that like button because all kind of magic things happen and I'd appreciate it. And if you want to join the membership or the Patreon program, click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.